We know the hard work and sacrifice they go through, serving our community and keeping us safe. Let's honor another First Responder Friday. Brought to you by our friends from Crown Buick GMC on 99.5 QYK. Well, it is First Responder Friday, but it is also... Correction Officer Appreciation Week. Yeah. So this is great. And I have a lot of friends who are first responders now that actually started out in the jails and working in the jails and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of sheriffs do that, and then they go out to work in, in the community. But today we get to honor uh, Carrie's daughter, Brooke. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? Hi. Good morning. I'm good. How are you? We are doing great. So we want to hear about Brooke. Tell us about your daughter. What does she do? And um, her motivation to get into this line of work. Um, she is a corrections officer at the Polk County Correctional Institute. Okay. Um, she's kind of always wanted to to be in this field. She, you know, maybe started thinking a uh, police officer. She was in the police academy, and then this is where she ended, and she she loves it. Sometimes it hurts me to see her, you know, doing such hard work, but she loves what she does. Well, that's what it's all about, loving what you do. But I understand what you're saying, Carrie, when you go, oh, this is a little worrisome for my, for well, my baby yeah. girl, Brooke, you know? Yes, it is. I always like to ask this question because what were the things that you saw in Brooke? I mean, maybe you didn't see him at the time, but you look back now and you say, man, I should have seen that this is what she was wanting to go into. Were there some traits or interests that she had, like maybe in junior high or high school that you go, oh, this makes a lot of sense now that she's in this field? You know, to be honest, not really. I mean, when she was growing up, she was – Always a little bossy and always <laughs> took control of things. Well, that she helps. Always, well, you need that, right? Yeah. <laughs> she was always um, the second mom. and um, But, no, I really didn't see that this was a field she was going to go into. And then she started uh, she did the EMS program, and she was like, this is something I want to pursue. I, I, I'm going to try all of it and see where I end up. And this is where she landed. I love that. So do you think she's going to branch out then to maybe some other areas? So she's kind of testing the waters um, all over in this field, huh? I think so. I really do. Um, I'm not sure if this is, you know, where she's going to stay, but I do know that, you know, this is a field that she definitely, you know, wants to stay in. Well, this is great. I like that you said this in your in your email, too, that you personally got to meet the warden. Now, I've personally met a warden, but it had nothing to do with me working there. Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, but, you know, when you get to meet the warden, I mean, that's the head boss, and he recognized your daughter to you, right? Yes, it was actually a she. Yes, she did. Excuse and me. Um, she was um, just told me that she thought my daughter was an go, excellent person. And, go ahead and say it, what you well, wrote. Go ahead and say what you wrote. <laughs> she was a badass. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Not my little girl. (laughs) You're right. Well, listen, like we said, it is Correctional Officers Appreciation Week, and uh, we are so glad that you reached out to us to tell us about a brook. And I was telling you earlier that, you know, a lot of my friends, this is where they started out. Yeah. Especially going to the Sheriff's Academy or whatever it is, and then started in the jails, and they move out to the community. But uh, definitely an essential job. So we appreciate you. a tough job. And a tough job, for sure. So, um, yes. Carrie, we want to do this for you. We want to give you a $100 Visa gift card from our friends at Crown Buick GMC to give to her just a small way for us to say thank you for what she does. We are thankful that you reached out to us, and uh, we will pray for her safety. And thank you so much, Carrie. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, maybe you guys can do something together, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yes, we will. Uh, okay. <laughs> something for Mother's Day. Yeah, have a happy Mother's Day, Carrie, and we appreciate you so much. Hang on for me. Okay, thanks.